Hello, good morning. I just woke up roll out of bed. It is Thursday. March? No, it's April. <laughs> I think it's April 15th. some breakfast so i have two pieces of sourdough bread from trader joe's and then salmon with a laughing cow cheese and then this side is avocado with an egg and some egg whites and then i'm going to have my legion recharge the creatine supplement that i have every single day so that is my morning and then i have a client and then i'll show you what i'm doing hello it is a beautiful day in washington today um i'm on the way to my eyelash appointment so these puppies are getting extended <laughs> um i don't know if that's what you're supposed to say but here we are uh i had two clients this morning also brought a alani bar with me to drink it is not as windy as my hair is making it look right now um but i think on the way back from my appointment i'm gonna go over just an update on wedding things and chat about that but for now i'm just gonna enjoy the sunshine I'm back i don't know if you can tell but i'm absolutely in love with my lashes. I honestly should have asked for the details about what she did, but I know that I did get a classic, but I think um, it's like a perfect amount to where it's not too little and not too much to start out since it's my first ever time getting them. But holy crap, if you are in the Tacoma Peop area, Salon Ish is the place. I had Kylie and she's great. I um, listened to everything I wanted and it was like absolutely perfect. So I already am booked out for the next like month and a half to continue this trend. People are right. It's an absolute addiction. So I just wanted to have a chat about kind of like where I'm at in the wedding planning process. I don't honestly think anything's changed since the Q&A, but unfortunately tomorrow we go to the, um, the venue to see it for the first time in like over a year. I don't think we've been since August of 2019. Um, so I'm excited to go back. These are the things that we have to like, this is like the main time we're gonna go back and figure out where everything is, like where our first look is, where the DJ will be, where our tender will go. Like all the things that literally just don't think about. Like when you're planning a wedding, like who the frick needs to think about that? But you do and it's stressful. So we'll be figuring all of that shindig out tomorrow and with where we're both going with our parents. Um, so I will definitely take you guys through the venue. I won't be saying where it's at just for my own security purposes, but um, I'll tell you after the wedding for sure because I highly recommend it if you're getting married in Washington. So basically what we have planned is like all of our big vendors actually this week. Um, I had my hair lady drop out of me, which was like extremely stressful, but I found somebody else fairly quickly, like literally the day after. So that's great. Um, and you know, just a few like, things that come up but i'm finishing up my signs finishing up centerpieces we're gonna go to a floral place next week to kind of figure out what the look is we want to go for for centerpieces but i'm like the more simple the better because i'm like i <laughs> just i don't want to say i don't care but there's certain things i don't care about and centerpieces are one of them as i went to a wedding last weekend and literally don't even remember what their centerpieces were so i'm like what's the point um, this has been a terrible day in the life because I have not filmed that much. Um, I did a little bit on the walk, but I don't really, I guess I don't know where I'm taking this whole wedding series YouTube at. I thought I would be talking about like planning the wedding, but honestly, I haven't been doing anything because I'm literally behind on life and on wedding planning apparently. So let's see where the day takes us. Um, the day as in it's 520 so i'm gonna go make dinner make sure i'll show you that um and maybe i'll just chat about my nutrition as of recently i think that might might be a good place to go all right so let's chat about nutrition what i've been doing to get ready for the wedding and so on and so forth um so well the first thing is i feel like when people first get engaged you have like how much time do you have like typically a year I would say typically a year and immediately I feel like when people get engaged like oh my god I have to start getting ready I have to lose weight right this second and it's like homegirl you have a year if you start now you're gonna be dreading it so 
that's the first T. Um, so going back, it was April last year. I did what you shouldn't do um, when I got engaged. I was like, oh, I got to start just, you know, dieting. And that's not, it's not it, fam. Um, so by April, I was like, oh, shit, I'm getting married in four months and I'm not ready. So I got my coach back specifically for getting me ready for my wedding. A month and a half later, COVID. COVID happened. Well, COVID was already going on. Sorry. A month and a half later, we postponed. Um, and that was when I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to keep my coach and she can continue to get me ready for the wedding. In that amount of time, I was not cutting at all. When I started with her, I was maintaining. I was literally eating 20, probably 2,100, 2,200 calories. Um, so I was in maintenance. And um, we weren't even going to start a cut until like, um, I forget when, but we were going to do like a pretty fast cut, which I don't recommend, but that was what we had with the time that we had. We didn't have that much time. So she wanted to get me into maintenance and, um, you know, get me in a good spot to be able to cut. So we finally started cutting. I feel like we started cutting in November, October. I don't remember. But we started cutting a pretty way distance out. So we were going to do a cut uh, in the fall, go back to maintenance throughout the holidays, and then start a cut again closer to my July wedding. Um, it didn't work out that because I then decided I wanted to compete. So we just started like a mini cut to like figure out where I was at how lean I could get with what we were doing so then we could be ready for the real thing come time to compete. However, I then decided I didn't want to compete anymore. So essentially what the game plan has been since then, I've been cutting since for a while, to be honest with you, a while longer. We took a little diet break in like around the holidays, but I wouldn't say it's longer than I would tell anybody to, but you know, I was prepared for it because I maintained for so long that my body was ready for this longer cut. Do not, do not, do not take a cut when you've already been cutting. I think one of the most valuable pieces of advice I have gotten in my time as a trainer um, is you can't cut a cut. If you're already cutting, there's nowhere to cut from, if that makes sense. So stop trying to continue to cut when your body is not built to continue to cut. Another thing, my coach is taking me through this cut and then we are going to start reverse dieting and adding back in food a month and a half before the wedding. So, so smart. I feel like a lot of times people are like, oh, I have to be cutting all the way up into my wedding. Dude, you're gonna be screwed. You're gonna be screwed um, because you're gonna have all this you know, you're going to be cutting, you're going to be stressed, you're going to have a ton of things to do right around your wedding. And it's simply not worth it to me. You want to be able to enjoy that close amount of time to your wedding. You probably have your bachelorette party, you probably have your bridal shower. You don't want to be cutting for those things. You want to be able to be fully in the moment. So my biggest piece of advice that I could give to future brides, um, whether you are engaged right now, or you think you're going to be engaged soon is take time. When you I, I think a great timeline, say you get engaged a year before you're about to get married. I would say work back into maintenance if you haven't been already because a lot of times people are not. Work your calories up and be okay with a little bit of weight gain. You have a year. So many things can happen in a year. So give yourself time. Give yourself at least 16 weeks. I would say 16 weeks is smart. Um to do a cut, but leave yourself four to six weeks before your wedding. So start a cut 20, about 26 weeks. Is that right? No, 22 to 20 weeks, 20 to 22 weeks before your wedding. This way you give yourself space. You have 16 weeks to cut. That is plenty of time, especially if you're doing a slower cut 
it's also less stressful that way. You're not going to be overwhelmed with cutting calories drastically. And then slowly reverse out of it four to six weeks before your wedding so that you aren't stressed. Nobody wants to be stressed before their wedding. You're already going to be stressed. Planning everything out, doing everything that's needed before a wedding. Do it slowly is my biggest piece of advice. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm definitely getting to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm like in a really good spot. I tried on my dress and it was literally falling off of me at my first, or technically it was my first fitting. It was my second one with a different company or a different lady um, falling off of me. And she's like, are you planning to lose more weight? And I confidently, without even questioning, it was like, no, which was just really strange because I've never been able to say that before. So my biggest piece of advice is be patient, play the slow game, and it will all be worth it. Um, but yeah, so I've been finally to the point where I'm like, I'm chilling. Like, I'm kind of just ready to add more food back in. My coach and I talked about it. Um, and so we're doing two structured refeed days, days a week um, to kind of average out and slowly add things back in. So if you don't have a coach, that's perfectly fine. It's just an added expense that you're going to have to put up with before your wedding when a wedding is super expensive. So you do not have to have a coach. But if you have the expense to be able to do it, I highly recommend it because it's going to be less stress on you and having to worry about your own nutrition and your own training and all that. So yeah, that's that. And that's about all I have to say. Um on that topic good morning so. everybody wow the quality of this is really nice um i'm in line for coffee this morning i have a client at 6 a.m that i travel to her house so just getting some coffee maybe i'll keep this on just so you can hear what my order is i've known people that do that so let's do it good morning, good morning. how are you good how are you okay can I, today? Um, could I get a 16 ounce Americano with sugar-free white chocolate and coconut milk? So that was a bit of a fail. I didn't put my phone up correctly, but that is a okay. Um, I just got to my client's house, so I'm gonna train her, go home and have some more clients. So kind of a packed day. It's the next day if you didn't notice, obviously. Um, day two with my lashes um woke up feeling put together so that's a win <laughs> um and then i might overview some wedding things um and then we go to the venue today so this is all over the place but you know we're fine <laughs> a multiple day in the life vlog because oh this is a good view i'm taking you through today as well so it's gonna be a two a double day in the life whatever um the sun is out as you can see in washington mm, there it is uh in washington and i'm in love um, it's beautiful. My hair is looking good. Um, but it's just so nice. I've always wanted to live in a place where I like, it's always warm. But it's hard to find those places, um, that aren't like extreme. So, I'm gonna fluff my lashes real quick. Um, but right now I'm going to run errands, so I'm, oh no. So, um, I'm going to Costco to get like an example bouquet because we're going to work on our centerpieces tonight or at least an example of what 
we might want them to look like. So we're gonna go get, I'm gonna get a thing of flowers at Costco. I'll show you what they look like. Um, and I'm gonna have to go run a few other errands. Target is on the list. Um, but I don't think I'm getting anything exciting for the wedding. But if I do get anything for the wedding, we'll definitely let you know. But because of safety, I'm pulling out of my driveway. And I probably should let you go. <laughs> so, I'll see you soon. So remember when I popped on here and I was like, mm, I probably won't be getting anything for the wedding. Oh, well, Target did it again. And I literally just got <laughs> so much stuff for the wedding. Here, a little ball of stuff and had some of stuff. So here we go. I'll show them as I go. I got this for our little bridal shower. Along with just two plain, oh, that's nice two plain chalkboards that I can ride on for the bridal shower. I got these little votives. I have bigger ones that look the exact same, so they'll be like perfect. We're just gonna shove it in there. Those for wedding stuff anyways. Um, I got all my bridal party gifts. Um, I won't necessarily show, but just for the sake of some goodies, I don't want the girls to see what I got. And then I got these for the dessert table. Um, and I got some stuff for the boys. Um, just a bunch of little things, I guess, for the bridal party. Okay, some tissues. They have these super cute tissue packs. So, there we go. More gifts for the bridal party. Oh, God. And I think that is it as far as the wedding stuff goes but so yeah just absolutely hilarious to me that i was like oh i probably won't be getting anything like wedding and then i literally walk into target and their dollar section is flooded a hey mop flooded with wedding stuff so if you're getting married this summer dude go to target um, I got votives for the tables. There's tons of different votives, tons of like small vases, a bunch of candles. We're not lighting real candles just to be safe. Um, but they, um, yeah, so holy cow. And then I got all the gifts for my bridesmaids. Not all of them. I'll probably still get a few small things, but it, successful Target trip.